You told me that if I started investing now, I'd have one point something million when I'm 60. I don't care about that when I'm 60. I could be dead. I want my money now. Do you want to get rich quick ski? That's what you think Wall Street's all about. You think this is like Vegas. You're going to go to a table, put down $100, and you walk away from the table with $1,000. In order to get the money now, ah, that's a hard thing. Look, you may get lucky. You may buy an NFT that goes from being worth, you know, $50 to $2 million. I don't know if that's come and gone. That was the way it was. You may be the guy who got involved in the stock market during COVID and you hit one of those meme stocks and you bought it at two and it went to 400 and you sold it. The problem is the psychology behind all that stuff doesn't really work. Nine out of 10 people and they bought GameStop at $2. They watched it go to $480. They were up a shitload of money and they never sold it because some schnooks on the internet told them it was going to the moon. Nine out of 10 of the people who have won over 200 million in the lottery are broke to death. Money messes people up. It does funny things on people. So I'm here to tell you that it's a, you've got to be in it for the long game. You may go on, have a great career and make money. But what I'm telling you is there's something behind that. Think about money, how much stuff you have in your house that you bought. It lost value the minute you got it, and you've got 10 of them. Everything, everything in my apartment. Okay, and everything in your friggin' closet. When you want something, you want it bad, and you go out and you buy it. But if you walked around the block for 20 minutes, you may not really have to have that thing. So I'm trying to change your perspective. I know it's a long game, and I know it's not sexy. The bottom line is if you put $100 every month in a stock market that traditionally, historically goes up, compounded annually, until you're 40, you'll have $800,000. At 60, you'll have $1.8 million. That's passive, you never have to look at it again. So think about that psychology. If you just cut back on a lot of the disposable income that you spend on, that you don't need, it's gonna do that on its own. You don't even need to pay attention of it. Think about that confidence that you're gonna have. I got something growing in the backyard. That will actually give you the confidence to go out and find something you love to do. You're not gonna just take the first job that you find because you have to have a job. You put a seed in the ground and it's growing. It's gonna give you a nest egg that's gonna give you the support you need to go out and do something fun, find something you love to do, and make some goddamn money. Boom!